What's really important and exciting for this court is, is that we are having one person now that's specially trained um, and will continually be trained as far as a trauma-informed response to the issues that we have here in our community. But an event has occurred in this person's life. And so when they come to court, they need to know that we understand, we're open-minded, we'll listen, we're gonna respond as quickly as we can uh, to the issue. Um, and, and so by us understanding them, then they can understand the process and hopefully uh, be able to help themselves. The reason why it's important to have advocates in the court is because the court cannot be the advocate. There's a division between what we can do uh, for a victim legally, and we have to be fair. And so having a victim advocate from the very beginning, helping that person who very likely doesn't have an attorney, helping them go through the process and understand it, that way when, when that person then comes to court, they're not afraid of what of, of the procedure um, they have an understanding of what the procedure is and the court didn't get over involved with the case which is clearly not permitted under the code of judicial conduct so advocates are extremely important for those victims and the other thing is they will outlast the case so at the end of the case and after I sign off on the order the victim advocates always there you have to be open-minded and realize that if there's a challenge, how are you gonna address that challenge and how are you gonna make it even better than it was before? And I think that that's what Leanne and I are working on is to make it even better than it was before. You know, we're trying some new things. The problem was is that we had no place for these children. And, you know, we are a court. We have, you know, two floors of courtrooms and we couldn't have children sort of running around unattended um, and, actually causing harm to themselves. And we also couldn't bring them into the courtroom because it's really not an appropriate uh, place for children to hear some of the things um, that you know a parent might have to say. So uh, what, what we've done um, as a collaborative effort is I've provided the space, my court has provided the space for what we call a child watch room. So I don't wanna say child care because we still have the parent on the premises, parent or guardian on the premises. When Leanne saw the room, she's like, oh, I think we could get grant funding. I think we could do something else. So while we provide the space, she's providing all the other things that are needed uh, to make this a much more welcoming place, including the, the new staff that Victims Assistance is bringing in here, um, which we, we really welcome.